everyone. Welcome to another episode of Osborne Pro TV. Today I'm going to show you how to set a static IP address, and that's it. Uh, so to do that, we need to open our control panel. This is going to be your situation down from at least Windows 7 to today, uh, which is the most recent Windows 11. Um, you can find there's usually a, st a start menu shortcut to the control panel, or it's in your start menu under Windows Systems Control Panel. You can also search for it and it will show up there. Um, I have a large icon view by default. Yours, you may be seeing this one. Um, if this is your case and you don't want to change it, you can click Network and Internet and then Network and Sharing Center. Uh, with the large icon view, you would just select Network and Sharing Center. Here we have our NICs or our network interface cards. Mine's Ethernet, which means it's wired. Um, it could also be Wi-Fi, which would mean you know it's wireless connected to your wireless network. Click on the NIC, click on Properties. As a side note, if you don't have IPv6 disabled and you're not configuring this in your environment, disable it because it's susceptible to all kinds of man-in-the-middle attacks, and you disable it by simply unticking the box. Otherwise, select IPv4, click Properties. By default, you're going to be looking most likely at a screen like this. To set our IP address statically, we tick this box and then set an IP in the appropriate subnet. And 127.1, most likely your gateway is going to be the first usable address space, which is a .1. Um, every, it might also be the last one, it's like a 254. Um, yeah. And then your DNS servers, these will be, since this is the DNS server, I'm setting it to 17.0.0.1. Uh, you're not going to want to do this because that's just pointing the machine to itself. This, uh, you would set yours to, uh, chances are public DNS servers or your domain DNS servers. Public ones would be like Cloudflare at 1.1.1.1 or Quad9 at 9.9.9.9 or Google at 8.8.8.8. Um, otherwise, you'd be setting local ones for your domain. Um, hit OK. Soon as I hit close, the settings apply. And then uh, that's how you set a static IP address. If you like this content, like the video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.